and welcome ba back to another game. <clears throat> no, that's not right. That was not right. And welcome back. Um. Yeah, to another gameplay video by Grimlock. Again, the other gameplay video table up to the simulator. By Green Blue Walkthrough. Uh, 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 by Green Blue Walkthrough, yes. Uh, in the spawn, and we are applying to all similar again. Let's continue. With, I've been the, I've been adding another game to it, another one of my games like that. Yeah, I kind of messed up, but I kind of done woofed as well. Uh, that's the card game beta. I kind of uh, overrated the new game. Or, the, the game that I was developing first before the card game, but you know, I I wish they had an easy copy button. Really, whether they don't, it's really mind-boggling that they don't have an easy copy button. It's kind of ridiculous. Like they don't have a copy button, they don't have a backup system. I I don't understand it. Maybe there's a reason why people don't develop for this. Um, I'm one of the few people that do, I guess, who aren't modding. But anyway, so as you can probably tell, I've been working on a board. I've been working on a board for Abbey Trium Strategies and Treaties, or Treatum S and T. And this is going to be the and this is going to be one of the things I'm going to launch when I launch the beta. As you can see, if you move over here, the game is in preview five beta three beta zero point three point one. Although technically it's in preview six. I need to fix that real quick. Let me fix that real quick. Save a copy. But yeah, no, I've been working on the beta for better part of a year. I'm trying to get it done so then I can get, so I can go in full-blown testing and just test this version to death until I feel happy with releasing it. Um, I I'm gonna tell you this, but tell no one, okay? It's between us. But I am planning on doing a Kickstarter too. Uh, but only, only if, only if the SSI falls through. Or not, and I'll just go for a very low amount and just use Kickstarter for, you know, let's just say advertising. Um, And just use the money raised to a have some extra money. Well, no, well, have some extra money saved to pay the land tax. Um. And yeah, it's yeah, and also advertise with it. Like go, like go on Amazon. Like go on Amazon and just have a gigantic advertising budget. That'd be fantastic for the game. Our Amazon actually it'd be better to advertise to drive through RPG because this is technically an RPG technically you see it's an RPG totally so, totally totally seriously it is an RPG see see when I flip to this page it see when I flip to this page it says uh where in the world oh I, I, I really the heck do I, where did I put it all right there we, see it's an RPG ignore that part it's an RPG and besides they do word names stuff too so you have it in both sections so you're advertising to drive through RPG, uh, which is where I'm going to be selling. Which is where I'm going to be selling the physical version. I don't think I'm going to go through Amazon this time. Amazon's fantastic. Don't get me wrong for self-publishing, at least physical items. I mean, you get paid a measly amount of the of the price, but then again, you can also up your price. I don't. I I have the simple price. I have the easy price. Okay, what's today? I can't have my phone because I can't look at the computer. Because I'm busy looking at that. But yeah, I'm, uh, September 6th. I really hate when they don't give me the friggin' 6. 9, 6, 20, 21. Preview 6. Wait, I need to do one thing first. Hold on. Hold your phones. By the way, by the way, 
don't get a lightweight mouse if you want to do if you want to do uh, text work. It really if you well if you want if you only want to do text work, it really 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 sucks at that. It really sucks precision. Oh, okay, there you go. Like my eyes are extremely watery now and very and very itchy, so I'll, we'll see we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can get up through this pro, uh, setup process. Look, okay, it's only been five minutes. I I, I was hoping for that. But I, w I wish I really wish that word saved your last folder that you looked at. That'd be fantastic because I never get get out of like the main folder for word anyway. I mean, this game does, which is weird, but anyway. It does save it, but it doesn't save it for long. It only saves it when you save, which is weird. Okay, let's get these updated. Now, I'm having an issue. Now, there is one as I... This is my eyes. Ah, it's so watery. Cloud, cloud, port. You liar. You liar. That's better. I don't know why. I guess I moved too fast for it. Maybe this is on my uh, C drive. My my uh, my whiz bang. My uh, what do you call it? Like the like the second evolution of um, the second coming of the SSD, which came actually ra rather quickly compared to normal SSDs. But anyway, so the issue I'm having with this is I don't know what to do about these guys. You pretty much have to input what what loadout you have and then have it on these little notepads. Because I'd rather have a ton of different models on the board than have uh, than have a bunch of cards. I have all the models that are in this book, which this is the Fantasy Historical Steampunk Pre-Modern Sandbox Edition. Only one, only one rule book. So, that, so this is your main rule book for the system. Well, I mean, you're, I mean, the funny thing is, I'm only working on all in one books. Which of course will be expansions that have more units, more rules, more adventures, more everything. Because I I only want to do three hundred I want my book I want my I want them well the only one rule books to be to be three hundred and ninety nine pages long at max and the at at exactly three hundred and ninety nine pages long. So I can't have it all. I can't have everything I want to put in this book in this book. So and then there's actually might be other other uh, other other works episode. We'll see an actual video one. We'll see. But yeah, sorry. I I didn't really feel like recording when I'm recording anyway. So this is definitely an just flying other works episode. I like this bit. Then we'll do some actual gameplay once we get this more set up and actually go through. Oh, well, maybe we should go through the paces in this video. And then do an actual gameplay video in preparation to play with Jax. And anyone else who wants to play who has tabletop simulator. But anyway. So yeah. So uh what was I talking about? Man, I'm just not with it tonight, because I am tired. When, when my eyes get extremely watery to the point of I can get rid of it and then the saltiness in my uh, tears it really hurts. That's when things are not exactly the best. Why is it only... 
Why is it only recording on one screen? I mean, it should be not recording two screens, but anyway, all right. So basically, I'm, I'm hitting the limit of what I can actually put in the book. I can only put one adventure in the book, and I have to use the methods that uh, Matthew Coolville is using in his magazine, uh, and his and the writers and the writers he's um, he's contracting, and his in his magazine. So I'm just gonna have basically be a what the, uh, the adventures has to be like a one pager or two pager. They can't be very long. That's the basic what I put on DeviantArt for the uh, for the sun uh, for the sunlight shield or whatever it is, and that's about it. I can't do any more than that because if I do any more than that, uh, I will overdo the pages, and that's not good. Not for not for a not for a indie game, in, indie title, or people who just want to carry one small book. Because of course, D and D, the book is around 300 pages, and while they fixed the issue, by while they have while they fixed the issue, I have by just by just making money by just uh, by just making money. I mean, um, porting out their porting out the material and having everything be an expansion to the player's handbook, which isn't even a cool rule book. Really, it's its own thing. A cool rule book would have basically the GM's guide and the player's handbook and. Uh, and guide the monsters all in one, on one book. That's what a cool rule book would be because that's what the Victory at Sea rule book is, uh, and other game. And uh, and and it's more com much more common in uh, and much more common in war in war games than RPGs, probably because D and D is the D and D is the top dog, there. But anyway. So yeah, I guess let's go on to what we're looking at right now. This took me a year. This took me more than a year if you think if you think back to the earlier prototypes. But I got something I really like and could definitely put on the Steam Workshop. Basically you have uh that needs to be lined up. Hold on. Hold extra long. Nope. How, how do you pick something up that's locked? I guess you don't. Lock it. And you still take stuff out. Now this is basically everything you need to play. You got notepads to write notes, mostly your unit health, but be your unit cards. You got the clocks to see how long you've been playing for. Because that's good time keep because good timekeeping is good. You got your turn counter in case you want to keep track. Or any other counter you want, like keeping track of AP. You also got these dudes. For your AP Keeper Truckers. Then you got your note cards for right now and the information for your guys if you want to do it in real life. Which would probably be better. Um, then you got your models. They're all T-posing because I'm not putting much... I don't, I don't put much... I don't want to put much effort into, uh, into this right now. And these guys, and they're same on both sides. Uh, these guys are your units. These guys are your armors, tagged for tagged for characters, and the RPG in the narrative section or well, RPG section, and or um, and or new units that I don't have custom made, and just name them and whatever. You can't just pull them out like the dice. You have to do this. Oh, you can't do it right there. Unlock. Right there. Like that. Let's do it, you. You're an nice whore. Get out of here. Technically, you'd also have it in the description. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. But yeah, I want to at least have the names on that, all the characters. I mean, all the pieces. These are hills. You can place your dues on them. Uh, th this is water. So technically, it's technically, but it's technically bare. It's technically below the surface, but you can't do that with blocks. 
this is the building uh, on you can enter through all four sides and they pop up up here and then fight over here blue and red are your normal spawns this the the, uh, the pawn or the piece represents the maximum we can place some but we can place people uh, from the back of the board green and black if we're playing four player or three player and yeah I got and then this is a I made I, I custom I custom image this custom image to green yes I'm, I, yes I'm very proud of the screen believe it or not I I'm not lying I'm actually very proud of the screen all of this all of this is I kid you not it's just you know it's just the fill button doing its work Although you don't really have the fill button in the pro in the program I use, links in the description to the programs I use. Not gonna add table up similar, I guess. But yeah, the muscle proud of this. Although I can never, I can, I cannot get that. I cannot get the board. This board to match this board to be small enough. I mean, for, the, for this to be small enough. But anyway, so I've been working on the. Uh, beta and it's coming along rather nicely now I just added items so they're now consumables in the game and it's shared between party members or your team and yeah but anyway I think I'm itching for the game so let's get to it actually we should probably do go through the motions real quick and make sure everything's working right I can play one hand too which is nice um let's take let's take two brawlers because why not no let's take someone that has an actual weapon Knife fighter. Trying to be trying to be PG thirteen here. Very hard, I know. Put him right uh put him right on the pawn. Right we go. Getting rid of one of these is really hard. Oh you just got right click a million times. Knife fighter, this guy yeah, he has scars. scars are fine. I mean scar has scars. But anyway. Oh whoops, that's a fail. Oh, whoops, that's it. De delete. Okay, now let's look at my thing I have on the other screen. As you can tell, it's being... I really I really don't like this, but I really don't like any of the backgrounds. They all suck equally. Except this is slightly... Except I like this better. This background better. It somehow fits. It's so open and not open. As I, I don't know why. I don't know why. It just... It, it works without working. Alright, so I need a knife fighter, knife fighter, knife fighter. So you would, so you would, in actual, actually, why, why am I cheating? There. Why am I cheating? I should not be cheating. I should be playing it like you would be playing it, unless you want to play with something in the background. Uh, so you want to pop this up, pop out, have that on your screen at all. That's actually way easier, actually. Alright, it's way easier, actually. Now, tabletop similar is not quite meant for war games other than chess. And go and whatever. Uh, oh, it only goes by page numbers. It doesn't go by heading. I need to fix that. Get with. What's that? Jump. Oh, jumping by 10. Oh, that's disgusting. Know your pages, kids. Know your pages. Keep going up. My fighter. So in the description. Three. Oh, let's do three. A P. I am not, I am not other games. One, two, three, six. Twenty D six. That's the minimum you really need. Now let's get a card for him. I don't know if anything in this log right click. And clone. 
only one dude. And F one. Oops, I completely got rid of it. Oh, that's fine. Um, that's okay. Extra eight P is very important. Ten. Oh, let's actually have it on one row because we can. Ten health thirty. That's it. <laughs> that is. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I uh, think it's the same. So we just need to make a card. Actually, we just clone this card. No one will ever know. No one should ever know. I mean, the hardest part of Tabletop Simulator is by far finding... Oh, yeah, just not even facing this direction. Let's not face it their direction. Let's face it this one. Uh, by far, the hardest part of Tabletop Simulator is... Um, The hardest part of Tabletop Simulator is, for, is learning how it you're learning how it works because it's kind of funky. It makes complete sense, but it's funky. Oh, well, technically you could use these because they're an inch across. Am I right? Yeah, it's actually one inch. I can just use these to measure, but might as well measure the ruler. So, ignore that. Yeah, that does exist. Seven, and... Uh, I think you can only get right there. That's one there. Now, oh, whoops. Now, each inch is a space, and he has 10 AP, so I can move 10 inches. Might as well round up seven. Grab, grab. Oops. Oops. Come on. Are you still locked? Yeah, that happened. You gotta unlock him. The clone. Bam. Seven. And then can I move up an inch more? I wish you could get to inch easier than this. One. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, he fit! Yay! So he's sneaking up the hill. Bam, his turn. I don't think you just keep this up in there, but let's get rid of it and see if our methods work. And also give you a better view. Also be using this for um I'll be using this to help you visualize the action more when I do when I do uh, RPG moments, I guess I could say. As you could call them, RPG moments. RPG stories, something like that. RPG episodes, RPG, oh, RPG episodes, RPG episodes. There's need there, but RPG episodes. That's that would be fantastic. Okay, and he saw me do that. He saw that he was over there. Let us out. Can just barely see him. I see like white count, so let's just have him run because he's Ruby Kingdom and they're very aggressive. I'm doing it from the yeah. Thank you. Should be doing it from the edge. He is just going to go all the way over there. Oops. Unlock. That's fine. And the turn one. I mean, yeah, you should be playing at the beginning of turn. Oh, well. That's fine. Now it's maneuver warfare. Whoops, don't. I mean, whatever works, whatever works. It all it all does not matter. Now, this is going to be tricky because I don't think the ruler cares. Does the ruler care? Yeah, the ruler actually indeed does care. Actually, indeed does care. So we're going to vertically do double the spaces. Oh, come on. I know you care. I know you care. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, whatever. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Make that two, double it up. Actually, make that four. Actually, we gotta count with our piece. One, two, three. 
Ooh, good night. Oops. Uh, new, new. Nine. I'll take it if it lands like that. Eh, whatever. Don't fall to the side. Whatever, it's up there. Uh, and he's facing. Yeah, he's, no, he's facing because he's running. Uh, he, if he moved that mu that much, he's he's running. Uh, that needs to be an additional rule. Not not an actual rule, but definitely an additional rule because you can face when you stop. But like, if you move more than five AP, you ha you're you're stuck facing the direction you moved in. How about let's say, let's say that that will not fit on the that will not fit on the holy. Uh, give me this. Give me. Past it. Core moves. That will not fit on the holy core moves page, which I should keep up because but you need it. Unless you got the six sucker memorized, you need it. <laughs> uh this is technically a one rule a uh, one page game, plus cards. Um uh, but yeah. Like basically most of the rules is simply explaining what this does and what the cards do. Uh, uh those are what they the majority of the rules are you can get yeah, I can get this condensed like there should be like a quick there should be like I, I'm thinking there should be a beginner's version and a, and a cheat and a cheat show or events version uh the beginner version has all the that has all the flavor text and all the uh all the oh this is how it works the events version is this is literally how you play the game this is not this is literally what the game is so yeah but anyway Oh, how's he gonna handle this? Oh, can we get a ruler out? Oh, he's going for the attack. I don't know how tall this is though. Uh, that's like it's like hey guys, it's three tall. You go for it, who cares? That might be an extra rule that you can't go vertically, vertically, unless you get climbing gear or whatever. Mm, choices. Now, if he now, he will now he will spend all his ten AP getting up here, more or less. Well, he will have one left left over. He can dodge with one. Dodge with one, yeah, that's what you're gonna do. He's gonna dodge on top of the hill. I forgot I had that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you work. Whatever, Ruby Kingdom dude. Whatever, Ruby Kingdom dude. Now he's dodging. We just have to remember that. Trade next turns. Uh, dodge is new, by the way. Uh, trade next turns AP into a level chain to use. Between. Uh, well, yeah. Negative one AP now, negative one AP next turn. Ah, I really should explain that better. Uh use between this and next turn. What can you do now? Unarmed? Oh wait, 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 wait. Is he in unarmed range? I mean they have to be t actually, yeah, he uh, he's technically here. Is that technically touching? Is that touching? That's touching. He's touching. You can punch him once. That's what he's going to do. We got some action. All right. And then next turn, he's going to trade as many APs as he can. So let's get our dice out. One, two, three, four. Uh, we only need one right now, so let's get a maximum of ten because it's actually oh they're knife fighters I forgot. Oh no 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 no! Oh yeah, you're working before and now you're falling on the job. I'll oh, stop that. Okay, whatever. Two d six, two d six. Shaky shaky shaky. 
Twilight Moss is good for? Gold. Oh, what's sex? Does six do anything? I don't think six does a thing. Let's go to your official rules for small upon oh for the knife. For the kniff. Oh, pass it. And it And stab goes through armor, as evidenced by one of these. Also, I need a prodigy, and you just get, and you just get, like, and you just gain. Well, you roll, I guess, you roll these six, and you gain how many, and you gain that many successes. What the, what the face number of successes are, are and, and, and you roll as many d6s per your level. Uh, you only get better and better, as Ruby would say. Which I have watched Ruby Volume 8 now. I I, I stopped my time out time with Ruby T. I still don't approve of their practices. But yeah, I'm 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 back to being a Rusty fan, but not nearly as good of one as before. But anyway. So I'll be playing Root Clubs eventually soon. Where the heck is it? Oh step plus one damage show and wrong armor. But the move normally is hard to see. Let's do successes, because there's only two plus, so take off some health. Get D out. Come on. It's a certain art, you see. Additional five, get this out of here. Two, now you're on eight. Out of here. So he's on eight now. Now it's his turn. Three, now you get on two. And also get your dice. Believe I use D10 to keep track. They don't have percentile dice, unfortunately. Now, he just made a bad move, but he's prepared to use whatever dice he needs to in order to dodge this. He wasn't, because I forgot. Wait, I'm not going to just do that. Okay, yeah, whatever. I know you're right there. And then down there's no the penalty. So he needs to get... He needs to be three. Two, and then over one. So three... Oh, no, no, physics. Physics! Oh, oh, that counted? Really? Okay, whatever, go right there. We know where you are. Here, stop it! Why did I want to fight on the hill? Why did I want to fight on the hill? I'm regretting all of my... <laughs> playing all my life choices. Why did I want to fight on this hill? Why? It's only pain. And remorse. And more pain. Go with the more and more. All right, all right, all right, there we go. Now he's gonna pull his twenty dice. Why, why do I do this to myself? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that should be, that should be 10. Oh my word, right. what did I just do? That was a terrible, that was a terrible roll too. Just drop the bag of dice right there. Alright, so he's going to drop a couple 20s, because they're all 1 AP. Yeah, 20 D6, my word. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, no, oh, that's cocked you. Those six bulbs cocked. Suck it. No, you were on cock. You. I don't know. Also, gotta figure out freaking rolling this freaking freaking simulator. Uh, new idea. That worked. All right, and uh, stop. A stop that. No, where am I dying? Oh, these things are so unrealistic. Everywhere. Real life won't do that. Okay. Fail. Succeed. 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 Come with me. Oh. Oops, that. Uh, uh. No, give me, give me, give me, give me, oh, whatever. They all succeed in that. All should say succeed. 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 <laughs> this is why he's prepared to dodge. Succeed. The knife fighting's interesting, eh? You can have a million, you can have infinity of them because there's nothing stopping you from having them. That's where your team list comes into play. That's where, that's where a team, that's where you have to say enough is enough. You can only have so many. But it's not stopping you from having a, like a full size four by eight table for four foot by four uh, by four uh, eight foot long I four eight foot wide by four foot long or vice versa table where you just bring a ch ton of the a ton of the, a ton of knife fighters and fight just a few guys who are level ten nonsense because level ten nonsense is nonsense like level tens. I, I want level 10s to be so frightening that you don't need the basically level 10s should be on the same level as the higher titans in Warmer 40k or in the normal tabletop game. So like a Warhound Titan, not a Warhound Titan, like a uh, the ones beho ones just below the Imperator and the Imperator. Like a level 10 who has max stats is an Imperator Titan. Everyone else is Everyone, uh, everyone, every other level 10 is, at the very minimum, a Warhound Titan if they suck at life. Uh, so, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 20. 17 damage. But can he dodge it? Can he dodge this attack? Okay, let's go back to dodge. Give me my thing. Give me. Give me. Alright, it's not right there. My bad. Yeah, I need to have a notepad with all the porn pages. Until I actually get... I mean, the reason why I don't have a keyboard of contents, which would fix this, is because... I think these are... No, they're not. They're weird. Oh, I, found, I found something I like. Look, uh, yeah, that's... I don't know where this is. I will tell you what it does. I do it. It's a level chain. Level chains. There's no search either. What kind of uh, what kind of PDF reader is this? Level chains. Level chains are link. I mean, links are two plus. They're added when levels are added to gear equipment. Yeah, yeah. You I give you limited uses. I'll see a uh, give me give me give me limited uses. Oh, I I put the pair in the wrong spot. They are used to the LCs there. You, you, LCs. Or let me do the LC. Well, I got. Like, this is why I need to edit the thing to death because I, I. My first pass is so. It's so this. It's so this. Where are my voice commentaries? Like, my first pass is my voice commentary. This is far, far, far worse. Sorry, uh, I'm the watery energy. Happens when I'm tired. 
I'm actually not tired. So yeah, this is one of those weird situations. But yeah. There you still apply the effect. During a move, multiply successes of nine moves, the effects of special moves, and multiply the amount of armor, barrier of my ads. Give me only to add the uh, <laughs> Itchy eyes are so annoying! I'm sorry, they just are. Like, I knew that when I go in this, but I wanted to record this, but I can't because my eyes are itchy. Alright, so I haven't run the rule for this. Let's say, do uh, let's say dodge gives you level up chain. Level up chains can be used for dodging an attack. Not a and success, an attack. When I apply to armor. Or just having. So he's going to spend one AP to dodge that attack. Whatever. Use three. Oh, well, I can now got time to keep track. One, two, three, four. He's gonna go again. Click. Let's take out the low numbers because I I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad of a dice roller. Did we only? No, we only missed two. Oh, make that three. Once again, it's seventeen. Yep, 17. He uses the level up chain. This is not sustainable. Oh, he can't do anything next turn. He has to keep that into account. Go again! Oh, uh, will he use a level I mean, it doesn't matter. Will he use a level up chain? Oh, that's cocked. Watch this me getting seven successes very consistently. I guess it may be normal. Does it use a little chain? I want to say yes. Okay, you know, yeah, I, I, need, I need to write in the level up chain section. A level up chain, or le not a level up chain, that's a level up token. Uh, that's where a uh, level of tokens where that comes from. But a level chain can be used to uh, can be used to max out successes or use or use in special circumstances like to dodge. Or can, oh, actually, better it can be used for a free. It can be used for a free move or to dodge. No, not do, no have or it can be used for a free CM move. So, like, you can move free, like, you can uh, get free movement if you got a level up chain. So, you can dodge and get free movement. Dodge and get free movement. Yeah, uh, the level up chains continue. You can, because you can uh, keep getting level up chains the more dodge you spend. So, it shouldn't really be called dodge. It should be called something else. By the way, here we go again. That was good enough. Well, it's not a good roll. No! My dice! I, I caught him! No, I didn't call him! I, I, uh, oh, no, they came back. Oops, that was a beast. Wait, it unlocked a clone, too? No, it didn't. That one just wasn't locked. Oh, that was good. That's why we are... That's why we're doing this. No, mouse button. You weren't locked, sir. You need to be locked. Locked. Talk dice now. Oh. Right, I really wait. No! Why did you roll it? Yeah, I wish the dice mechanics, you know, like the main reason you're probably playing this game. I, w I wish there weren't so... I can 17. That's either completely average or I'm just crazy. All right. Does he... Uh, I need to look at the thing. Uh, 
Uh, let me look at the thing. I think do it again. I don't know, dodge can't be used for any can use our level change for anything else. You, you specifically use it to dodge. Ready can you can use your uh you can use your dice for anything else. Actually, Ready uses 2 AP, but gives you the level chain now. Uh, Dodge gives you the level chain during the middle of the move. Yeah, I, 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 need, I didn't even think I'd award that, but I think we're getting ideas. We're getting ideas in our heads. Yeah, he does. Now let's just speed this up. They're not going to go anywhere except get in his back arc. Back arc would take like three because he's going downhill. Mm. He wants to go into Overwatch. For two. Alright. That was his last one. Let's see if it kills him. No, you don't. No, you don't. No! Why you doing this? Why you did that? That was worse. Oh, come on. Nero, stop it. You need, like, the dice in this game perform so oddly. They weren't. Well, I guess walls is. You can't just have no functioning dice in this. You gotta roll it tiny. Tinyly. Tinyly. No, how do you do that? I can't, ah, man, this dice. The by far the dice are the hardest, are the dumbest things in this game. In this sim. In this sim. You're playing a game with the sim. I think of it that way. Oh, yeah, that works against that. Click off the thing. Yeah, they put some epic in 17. That's so weird. Why does it keep rolling 17? 17. He's going to take that. I got lucky. I'll be the other one. We're counting up in this game. 17. Perfect. It's all, it's all in the wrist. All in the wrist. That's kind of... No, you do not. Oh, they go fix it. No! What the heck? Why you do that? I don't want you to do that. Okay, click off the thing. Why don't you click in the middle of that yet they don't let you click in the middle of that when you're trying to save the dice? I don't understand. I don't understand. What are you doing? Okay. Hey, something different. Now we use the calculators. One, eight. Plus. 17 equals 35. Ooh, he's dead. That will get him. Yeah, there's nothing you can do other than get checkmated. If we're using that term, which we are. Other than get he he's in checkmate right now. Actually, he's in check right now. Let's get do something about it. Because if he burns... Okay, let's say he burns all his AP. Let's say he burns all his AP on uh, getting level chains and dodging all of his attacks. Let's 
Let's say he does that. Well, next turn, he needs to go back in place. He burns it. He burns it. It's just an infinite loop. So, yeah, he has lost. That is lost. Uh, I think the only way I can make him. I only think. I think the only way I can make it more feasible is by having the. Is by depowering the power of the friggin'. Of the unarmed. Uh, 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 of the, uh, of the dagger. Ah, my eyes! I'm sorry, but, ah, so watery. Let's delete these guys. All the dice. Put this back. Always clean up your game, kids, when you are. Um, You're done playing it. Alright, there we go. That, or you can only... You can only... I uh, use you can only use five uh, dodges. Oh yeah, let's take dodge five times. All right, so let's head over to out of here. Let's actually take a picture. You need to get back to one. Games. Alright, now let's head out of here. Be right back. Okay, there we go. I had to reset. I had to reset. Friggin', I had to reset the friggin', friggin thing. But anyway. So we're back. Alright, just one last thing. Uh, we gotta change it to 7. Gotta change this to 7. And we're gonna need a missive dodge. I think we need a missive dodge more than anything else. Which to their name, knife fighters are not gonna live very long. Or live a very long time, it depends. And a one on one fight with them is more is more of a skill of it basically gotta place your dudes well and then they fight and then when they fight whoever whoever gets in that back arc first wins. Um is how things are, how things are, which I need to think I need to mess with. I mean the reason why the dagger is so powerful is just, you know, the regular. Regular, eh? like in the regular, the regular game, it needs to be powerful in order for people to take it. Or else why is it, it's not really going to be worth much. But then again, if you could just own someone's, uh, own someone always, own someone's 30 health, that's, if you're just going to own someone's 30 health and just two attacks, that's nuts. So, you, I need mean, that way you shake my watery eyes. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have to stop recording for right now. And when I get this done.
am I? I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, my eyes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be recording right now, but uh, I... I Oh man, oh man, why? <sighs> okay, stop, we'll be right back. All right, let's try to get this done. All right. Even though I can't really see anything because my eyes are so watery. Train next turns a P. Into. All. Sis. Oops. Sis. On a roll. I think they better name than Dodge. I think you better name than Dodge. On new teammates and targets. Um. Actually, no, it is the Wolf Chains. Okay, unarmed movement. Overwatch, stealth, ready, target. Yeah. There we go. There you go, that's better.
Now let's change the definition of it a little bit. Now, so I changed inventory to box to go with party box. Okay, that's, the last sentence covers it. Can be unlinked or linked as additional effects during combat or narrative session. No, I think I think I think that bug that happens with the uh, with the two knife fighters should remain. It's like two kings fighting kings after all. Like chess bugs out when there are two kings fighting kings, and most chess games realize this and and just say no one wins. Call it a draw. So technically that would be a draw. Um but yeah. Oh, alright, that'll be first video, like for watching. Don't be sure watching out this video, means a lot to be watching, a lot to me, if you were checking out the rest of the stuff in the description below. And I guess, see you in a second.